Okay, and we are live. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome. This is Megan Sano here representing Ski Racing Media. Um, today is our third day of our second annual virtual gear week. Um, and I know we've said it before, but we just want to say thank you to everyone who's been participating so far. It's been really fun to be able to partner with brands such as Sync, who we have this afternoon across the industry to present virtual gear week. Um, essentially, our goal is to kind of make equipment information widely accessible through virtual means. So I had the pleasure of introducing a brand that is close to my heart and has been absolutely dominating the ski racing apparel industry and gets to work very closely with many athletes, um, many that you know and love in order to produce a product that works for ski racers. Um, Think is designed by ski racers for ski racers. So on one side of your screen, I'd like to introduce you to Parker Beely, who's an incredible ski racer herself. And on the other side is Jeff Oaks, Sink's um, co-founder and also a man who wears many hats for the company. Um, without further ado, it's my pleasure to let Sink take you through their up and coming products for the season. Take it away, you guys. Hey guys, thanks Megan. Um, we're super stoked to be here um, for the second annual uh, virtual gear week. Um, we think this is an amazing platform that they've built and um, we're excited to get going. Um, my name is Jeff Oaks. Um, as Megan said, co-founder, president, CEO. Um, been here since day one and absolutely love the space that we work in. Um, love the athletes, love the brand. Um, so super passionate about it all. Um, you know, real quick, high level, what is Sync? Like, who are we? Um, Sync is a brand built on the foundation of Alpine ski racing. Um, we're really laser focused on that athlete. Um, from the beginning of their careers, you know, all the way from a U12, U10 to, you know, all the way through their post ski racing years. So once they graduate from ski racing, we don't want to just drop the ball and kind of have them move on. It's, you know, it's really a holistic relationship. Um, and you'll notice that throughout kind of the conversation today of athletes. We continue to work with athletes to give us feedback and build product um, well beyond their ski racing careers. Um, so, you know, as we, uh, started that tip of the spear, right, with ski racing, um, it's starting to matriculate down into kind of the broader free ski and, and all that. So um, we're super excited to be here. Thanks again, Megan and Ski Racing Media, for putting this together. Um, and I want to quickly introduce you to Parker Beely, who's on my left, your right. Hi, everybody. My name is Parker Beely. Um, I'm an independent ski racer right now and also actually a full-time employee here at SYNC. Um, I get to balance the best of both worlds, which is pretty awesome. I graduated from Boston College this past spring, skiing all four years there. And then this season, I'm really dialing in on a GS Norm and Europa Cup focus. So I'm super excited to talk through with Jeff here today about some of my ideal kits that we offer here at Sync Performance and go through those with you guys and talk about why I chose those items, why I use them every day, and really what makes Sync a huge part of my everyday life as a ski racer. So um, I think Jeff, if we wanna get going, I think let's go through some of the outfits. Yeah, I think just to remember the point of today is to go through these kits and so that you guys can be perfectly outfitted for your season. Um, you know, it's not necessarily the same as some of the hard goods brands that you've seen before. It's, um, you know, we, di we dial in our product you know, year over year and refine it and refine it or, you know, with athlete input. Um, and so, you know, it may be bright and shiny and maybe something that we've kind of made tweaks and, and updates to. Um, and so I just, you know, bear with us as we kind of, you, you may know some of these styles, but um, you know, we, we certainly believe in them and we hope you do too. Um, I will, don't forget to submit all of your questions in the comments. We want to, uh, we want to make this engaging, right? This is kind of, we don't want to just be talking at you. Um, that's no fun for anyone. And um, unless you're Parker, you know, it's super fun for her to talk. Lot, so. um, but we, uh, yeah, don't forget to submit all your questions, um, ski related or not, we're happy to answer anything you got. Um, we will be offering, we'll be doing a contest for the most kind of engaging, fun question. Um, Parker and I will judge that. Um, and so there's a little gift for that. And then um, if you happen to make it through this, uh, this virtual gear week session, um, we will be offering a certain special gift at the end um, that's available to all. So. Um, stay tuned, stay into it, and um, super stoked to be here. Um, with that, I think we can get going on outfit number one. Sweet. And like Jeff said, stick with us. We promise we'll do our best to be engaging and entertain you guys. 
and hopefully give you some important insight into this upcoming season that maybe you didn't know. Um, so Jeff is going to get going on outfit number one, which I think is really the most important and the one that I wear most often, and that's my training day. So as a ski racer, you're really training all of the time for a smaller number of races. And so this training day kit is really something that I have dialed in because you want to be able to maximize all of your time on the hill. And so to get started, I get woke, I wake up in the middle of the morning and I decide what I'm going to put on and it's just based on weather. But no matter what, depending on the weather, I'm always putting on my cut resistant first. So as we've started to see an increase in at-home tuning with machines, cut lacerations are becoming more prominent. And so being able to have a cut resistant base layer that I trust and also am able to move in and feel comfortable is a huge part of my everyday skiing, whether or not that is just training, racing, etc. So always the cut resistant first. Then after I put my cut resistant on, I normally put on my impact training top because I'm a GS skier and I need to protect my arms from the battered and bruises of GS gates constantly. So if I didn't ski with that, you would see me basically in sleeves, I feel like, of bruises. So I go, I don't go anywhere without the impact top. Once I have my base layer on, I like to put on my suit. And with sync, it's really great because we have so many designs so that I really can reflect my personality on the hill. So as Jeff knows, I like a lot of blues, greens, blacks, more simpler designs. And so I'm really excited with this year's tiger suit that we actually just launched this past week um, to be able to reflect that personality on the hill. So once I have my suit on, I feel like the rest of my outfit is GS based. Like I said, GS skier, that's kind of how I roll. And so I really used to be somebody who would just wear my suit training, but then all of a sudden the down training pant was invented and it was a game changer. And if you want to hear it from me, I call them the GS pants. It's okay. Down training pant, GS pant. But this is an item that I don't go without. And basically what it is, is an ability for me to stay warm in the legs without having any sort of extra space or like bagginess from snow pants. And then my boots are also free. So I can go down and buckle in my boots and not have any issues there. So down training pant, GS pant, best thing ever and really part of my daily outfit. If I were more of a slalom skier, I would wear my session shorts every day. And these are the best for movement, no restrictions, great stretch. And so with the quick pace of slalom, I think that these are the best shorts for that. The rest of my outfit kind of depends on weather. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, being somebody who grew up racing on the East Coast at Burke Mountain Academy, and then now racing here more in Rocky Central, those are completely different weather environments. And so if I were going to dial in my East Coast training outfit, I would really focus on warmth. And so that is when I would pull out my down training jacket, which has the flexibility and the warmth to be able to withstand that training without being stopped by any sort of ripping or movement issues. And so that's perfect for when it's negative 20 and you can barely get your eyeballs to open because it's so cold and everything's frozen. Um, on, the, on the West Coast, where I am now, enjoying the beautiful sunshine here in Vail, Colorado, I'm more of a lighter layer person. So... I would really recommend using the Benchmark jacket, which is new this year, is a really nice fleece training top, nice and tight to the suit, so you don't have to worry about having any sort of, again, bagginess or restrictions and doesn't get caught in the wind. And then if it gets a little colder, which yes, it sometimes does, um, I will add my engineered down vest. And I'm a huge vest person. I think you can go sometimes just vest over the suit, have that res no restrictions with your arms, really good, comfortable movement but also feeling like you have a little bit of a layer on top. And so for me, this training kit, yes, it has a lot of items in it, but it's able to adapt and it's fluid. And I think that that's the huge part about what Sync offers and their ability to interchange layers to be able to maximize that time on snow. Um, so Jeff and I are going to talk a little bit about my training kit now and some of more of the technical aspects that we bring to the table. So as you can see, Parker, well, first of all, thanks for sharing your favorites with us. Um, it's a stacked lineup, right? I think, you know, you spend most of your time training, right? It's, um, I think, what, 95% of your days as a ski racer are training days, um, something like that. And so we, you know, we as a brand want to spend time really dialing in the equipment that you have on those days because th that can really impact, you know, how you perform on race day, um, you know, whether you get the proper training in, the volume that you want, the, you know, so that may, that's meaning, you know, you have the warmth that you want, the flexibility that you want. And Parker, 
Um, you talked a lot about kind of geography and, you know, East versus West and kind of how that plays into your training kit. Um, what advice, you know, have you learned over kind of your 20 year career of ski racing? Um, you know, what, you know, depending on location, kind of what do you, what do you do on a daily basis that kind of changes that? Um, you know, you spoke about kind of the, the sunshine in the, in the West versus the maybe precipitation in the east, um, you know, what is, what does that look like? Yeah, I think geography plays a huge role. And I think a huge part of ski racing and really your layers is adaptability. On the east, it can be extremely cold and out of nowhere, just start raining or uh, sleeting. And I think having something like the down training jacket, where you know you can stay warm, but it also has a durable fabric so that it can withstand kind of some of those elements is a huge part of it. But I also think it's nice to be able to know that you can pack these things into your bag and have them no matter what. So it can be a quick in and out. Weather changes, you're ready. And so with this lineup, I really have myself prepared for whatever comes so that if it's necessary for me to strip down a layer or add a layer, I have that and I won't ever lose a training day. Because like I said, maximizing training is the best thing you can do. Um. And then I think another really important component of um, training is flexibility and kind of freedom of movement. And I think that as a brand, um, and I'm really speaking from the brand's perspective, you know, we've, that's been probably the number one piece of feedback for athletes is to make um, gear that moves with you and doesn't inhibit any um, movement and, you know, doesn't restrict any movement. Um, and I really think that, you know, every piece that you see here, I mean, we, we do well with stretch fabrics. That's just kind of been a platform of the brand. Um, you know, do you have a favorite kind of piece that really speaks to that kind of stretch and movement and flexibility? Yeah, for sure. And you never want to be restricted. I love how Jeff uses that flexibility, that stretch fabric, because when you're out training, the idea of having stiffness is like the worst thing possible. You want to keep things simple and you want to have that flexibility to move. And so for me, I think the best piece of equipment in this lineup is my down training pant, because I really feel like it's changed the game of GS training for me. Uh, having that warmth, having that stretch, having that flexibility to move without having to worry about the cold and the temperature and stuff like that. It keeps my muscles warm while also able to be on a timer and not worried that I have this huge flapping snow pant behind me causing extra time. And so I think that that's a big part of it. And the other one is the engineered vest, which the hood is removable. I did see that question in the chat. And so you can take that hood off and really have that aerodynamic feel of wearing just a nice engineered stretch fit vest. And then it also does keep your chest warm, which long-term is great because that keeps your toes warm. And if your toes are warm, you can take more laps. And so that helps. It's all part of that progression. Core warmth is probably the most important, one of the most important muscle groups to have, um, you know, dialed. So, I mean, that and your quads and glutes. So, um, shorts, a vest, you know, really, those are two pieces that I would highly recommend. Um, uh, somebody else did ask in, you know, are the colors, are there other colors available? And yes, we are only showing a few color, you know, just kind of the styles, um, certainly other colors available on the website, syncperformance.com. Um, you know, we only have so much time, so we just want to get you the highlights, get you the proper kits. Um, but yes, definitely check it out on syncperformance.com. Parker, you definitely mentioned something about, you know, this kind of timing situation in training. And a lot of coaches are big proponents of, um, you know, stripping fully or, you know, so a lot of have different philosophies on that. Um, can you talk through like how that works on the Hill? You know, do you feel, um, you know, stripping is super important or, you know, you know, maximizing your training day by staying warm. I think, you know, there's all sorts of different thoughts about around that. I think there's a huge balance. And I think a lot of it depends on timing of where you are in the season. So like right now I'm in a little bit of my fall uh, ski season uh, where I'm going to go out and train for a little bit in the next couple of weeks. And for that type of training, it's so early that I'm really layered up. I want to be comfortable. I want to be able to move, but I also want to stay warm and be able to stay on the hill for hours and not ever feel like I'm cold or I'm not able to continue to be on the hill. But as we get into November and I'm starting to get ready for the Norham season, there are going to be some runs where maybe I start in my warmups and I'm wearing my snow pants and I'm wearing my jacket. And then slowly but surely I'm getting into more of that race progression. I'm a big fan of race like you train, train like you race. And so as I go through that progression, uh, maybe I'm on run two and I want to strip down to just my GS pants or my down training pants. And then, or I get into run two and I'm ready to be full strip. And so it's nice to be able to have that flexibility to move through that progression when it makes sense. 
Yeah, that makes a, <clears throat> that makes a ton of sense. And I think it's always nice to have options and, you know, we, we kind of like bring all the options to the table. But I think going back to that point of geography and recognizing where you see and really honing in your outfit for um, for those, you know, that climate, right, I think is most important. The GS pants, that the down training pants that Parker was talking about, her new favorite item, um, you know, that was really uh, born out of um, someone who skis at Sugarbush, um, you know, Tucker Marshall and, and kind of Northern Vermont um, and sort of in that climate, you know, he's like, I'm not sure, so sure I care about my timing necessarily on a training day. I just want to be out for, you know, out for a long time and maximize time on snow. Um, and through, you know, through those certain pieces, he's able to do that. So I think that, you know, like I said, every product we build is, you know, a hundred percent athlete driven and direct, you know, directly related to some insight that they told me once upon a time or Parker has, you know, has said, has told me. So, um, you know, you'll see that throughout the line, but, um, yeah, we're super stoked, um, to launch all this, you know, training wear. And I think if you, if you merchandise it well and kind of keep a, you know, keep a close eye on it, I think you can maximize every ounce of, um, on snow time that you have. So. Yeah. And so as Jeff's going to get ready to start showing us our next outfit, I think it's important to add too, like we do have a group of colors. So your personality is always shown. I think it's important as a racer to be able to feel comfortable and confident in what you're wearing. And so if you don't want to be in an all black kit and you want to throw some blue in there or some pink or something like that, we do have some options to be able to customize to fit who you are. Um, and so moving into outfit number two, I feel like this is one of the second most important outfits. Oh, you could argue the first, it's your race day outfit because it wouldn't be ski racing if you didn't race. And so the funny part about this is, yes, there are some overlap, but there are a couple of key pieces that I've really found over the years that are game changers to race day. And in the end, race day, you want to be feeling as comfortable and as confident as possible. And so the big thing that I've really added to my race day routine is the canvas panel jacket, which Jeff's going to bring in now. And this has really changed the game for me. Having a jacket that is so warm, easy to fit over your layers, your suit, covers down below your knees so your butt is warm, that you're sitting on the chairlift and you have full muscle coverage so that when you get to the start and you're waiting to go and you're warmed up, your, your whole body's warm. There's no ever a question about that warmth. And so then with the canvas pano, I would pair a shelter pant, which is our warmest snow pant, really great, super durable, simple, has great three quarter zip. So you can easily take them on and off as you're getting ready to get into the start. But again, super warm. And I kind of call this my like winter sweatsuit. You put this on, you have full comfort, like I mentioned, and it makes it so you're relaxed and ready to go. And then finally, a suit, you need one. And I think that the stellar suit that we're offering again, another new uh, suit on our line is perfect to be out of this world. And like I said, it's a little bit of a space jam going on over here. And so I think it's a great way to feel confident and feel like you're ready to soar to new heights down the hill. And then finally, there's always going to be that one day that something goes a little bit terribly and that's weather, but it doesn't have to go terribly. And you can be that racer that's ready to take on whatever hits them. And that's with the element shell. So when it's pouring and everybody's grumpy and all sad that they're raining, you can be covered in the same length jacket as the pano and feel like it's just as normal day on the hill and everything's dry and you're able to stay in your zone and feel ready to go. Um, I think that these pieces really allow you to be in your best zone to be able to perform when it matters. So race day is all about maximizing those two runs. And so I think if you can really have an outfit in this kit that will allow you to do that is a huge part of it. So Jeff, I think now it makes sense to talk a little bit about my race day picks. Yeah. So um, super stoked on these picks. Um, I would have picked the same outfit. I think that one of the big thing to note is, um, you know, warmth versus, you know, warmth on a race day versus training, right? So Parker went with the canvas panel. I think you're seeing this pop up um, all throughout the country, no matter the weather climate, right? You know, in the East and the West, I think people on race day should be warm, right? And, that, and that's shown in her choice of shorts versus pants on a race day as well. I think it's always important probably to have I mean, unless you're unless on a slalom day, probably you're probably wearing shorts. But, yeah, I um, think a slalom day, I would definitely have shorts because you'd never want to have that interference with your shin guards. Um, but for my kit personally, when I won't really have a lot of slalom days, snow pants are definitely the right option. Yeah, never sacrifice warmth on race day. Um, you just want to be, uh, you know, as you as you guys 
I mean, when I was racing, people weren't even warming up on the top of the hill, you know, at the beginning of the race course, that's changed dramatically um, over the last five, 10 years. So um, I think that, you know, keeping those muscle groups warm throughout the day is super important. I think the element shell, that's something that I want to talk about a little bit. Um, you mentioned all sorts of weather, you know, it can ruin your day for sure. And um, element shell is something that has been, we, it was requested for a long time from sync, um, you know, pretty much since day one. It's one thing that, yeah, I think you can just throw in your bag, never, you know, throw in your locker pack, you know, never, um, it's going to always be there, right? You're always prepared because um, you never know when that, you know, when that cell comes in late in the day um, or it's just, you know, it, it, you know, it's cold and windy, you know, that this can also protect from that too as well. It doesn't have to be wet. Um, so it's a great wind layer as well. Um, you know, I think that one of the biggest, I mentioned this before, but those muscle groups, you know, keeping those muscle groups warm and your glutes are a big part of that. And so making sure that your glutes are um, nice and toasty on the lift is super important. So pan canvas pano jacket and the element shell, um, two great three quarter length jackets that really do that. Yeah, and I can see here on one of the questions that you were wondering if the pano folds up or buttons in any way. And no, it doesn't. I think that speaks to Jeff's point about the fact that you really want to see your butt covered on the chairlift so that you can keep that warmth. It's like an insulator. And we'll talk about a jacket um, later in outfit number three that fits to more of that shorter length warmth. Um, but the, I think the element shell does pack up into a pocket though. So it's, you know, it's, it's really, um, it doesn't take up a ton of room in your bag. You know, it's kind of just something you can throw in. Um, it does have a two way zip. So you can zip from the bottom if you are feeling like kind of constraint, constraint, any type of constraint or constriction. Um, so if you want to access your pockets or start list, radio, whatever it may be, you can zip from the, from the bottom and that way, you know, your top stays, warm, um, you know, nice and dry. So, it, you know, that's all. Good. Yeah, and I think one of the coolest quotes I've ever heard about a rainy day is, uh, especially on a race, is someone is still going to win. And I think having a jacket that can protect you from the elements and keep you dry and just keep your head on in the right space is a leg up on the people that aren't excited about the rain. And you can be that person that ends up taking the win during that day just by having the right equipment. Um, I think, Jeff, one more question that we should talk about is we mentioned it's a canvas pano. So can you talk a little bit about what that canvas material is and why we decided to go with the canvas? Yeah, this is actually a super favorite question of mine because um, it's a fabric that we developed um, basically kind of re-engineering sort of our, our former pano jacket. And we decided that, um, you know, we like that. I, I call it Carhartt meets performance ski wear, right? So it's, um, you know, I know you Vermonters out there and, and Maynards love your Carhartt. So um, <laughs> we, we decided that this canvas, this canvas um, update to the pano jacket is, is much more durable, um, tear resistant, all these, all these kind of components of durability. Um, it does have, you know, two-way stretching it, so it does give a little bit. Um, but I think most importantly, it's just kind of impenetrable to the elements. Um, wind, water, um, anything like that. You know, it's still, it kind of looks like Carhartt, but it performs like outerwear. You know, it does have that 2020K waterproof breathable rating. So you can wear it in all sorts of rain, whatever precipitation. Um, you know, like I said, this, uh, one of our athletes and, you know, big testers, um, Tucker Marshall, he's actually the guy who trains in this, um, you know, on a daily basis. So it's kind of, kind of insane, but um, we'll let him do what he does. And um, so that's a great question. Uh, yeah. So I think that this is the race day kit. It's pretty dialed. I think we're ready to move to outfit number three. One thing I wanted to mention about before we move on, because this is the last time we'll be talking about race suits, um, all, all sync race suits, adult race suits are FIS approved. So you never really have to worry about that. If you are going to be racing FIS this year, definitely go with an adult suit versus a kid's suit. Um, those start at size small and go all the way up to double XL. Um, so that's just something to note, um, but you don't really have to worry about that. If you get an adult suit, you're covered. Um, and then, yeah, we'll move on to outfit number three. So outfit number three, I think, is really important because, yes, we've talked about training. We've talked about racing. But as Darren Rawls mentioned yesterday in the Atomic video, that free skiing is really important for the development and the success of a ski racing athlete. And come on, we're ski racers. That means you got to love to ski. Um, that being said, outfit number three is my free ski picks. And I love to free ski, especially now that I live out here. Um, being able to go on these huge mountains and rip GS turns down perfect groomers is something that is untradeable. And so for me, these picks are really simple, but they allow me to have that movement and that ability to make those turns without feeling any sort of restriction, kind of on the same key of all the rest of my outfits. 
So like I said, I live out here in Colorado now. And so my jacket choices are a little bit different. So for my warm weather free ski outfit, I'm always going to start with the engineered down jacket. This jacket is amazing. It has full stretch, it's super light, and it allows me to just feel warmth, but also feel that movement and that freedom. And so I like to pair that with the top step pants and the top step pants are super simple, have that three quarter zip as well. There are most sold pants and um, they allow me to also have a little bit more color options so I can really express myself in the colors I like. As you can tell, my favorite color is green. So that really does impact a lot of my choices in my top picks. So then of course I need my colder winter days and that would have been the, my entire life growing up as a skier um, at Burke Mountain Academy and Suicide Six in Woodstock, Vermont, I would be wearing the shelter parka which is really the all around winter coat. It is ideal, it has great warmth, it really is perfectly fitting, has that movement and that ability to make those turns and go with you wherever you wanna go. And I will add too, if you're not a huge fan of the fur on the women's jacket, you can always take it off, but I do think a little fur is a little fabulous. So just coming in here now, and we're gonna talk about these free ski picks and how they really are kind of staples of our sink collection. Yeah, I would say, um, thanks Parker, these picks are great as well. Um, you know, I think that looking at the shelf, and one thing to just clarify, I know people are probably wondering, but all these styles come in men's and women's. Um, so just make sure, you know, we're just talking about for the most part women's product, but some of these pants, like the top set pants, unisex pants. So um, some of them have women's, women's fit, um, some more of a princess cut, like you'll see on the shelter parka, whereas the men will be a bit more boxy fit, kind of straight cut. Um, so just to kind of want to point that out, so that we don't lose anybody out there who's thinking like, oh, this is just you know a bunch of women's products. So, um, you know, we got stuff for you as well. But I think that most importantly, um, talking about the shelter parka, you know, this is the bread and butter for sync. Um, it's definitely our warmest jacket on, in the lineup. Um, you know, it's fully featured, fully, you know, it's got vents, waterproof zips, um, fully waterproof fabric, um, you know, high pre loft insulation, um, snow skirt, all sorts of, you know, helmet compatible hood. Um, you know, this has been kind of the chosen piece for races throughout their 150 days a year, um, especially in New England. I would say this is the go-to go-to jacket. Um, you know, college teams have been really uh, going for this one. DU, Dartmouth, um, you know, a couple of those those programs as well. Boston College or BC, alma mater. Alma mater, go Eagles. So, um, you know, I would say that uh, the Shelter Parka, if you're looking for kind of your one one jacket fits all, um, you know, it does have that venting opportunity. So like, you know, you're not going to overheat necessarily, um, you know, maybe on a above freezing day. But, uh, you know, I'd say for 90 percent of the days you're out there, this is going to be your and if you if you if you tend to get cold, this is your kit, this is your jacket. Um, and one thing I wanted to point out, you know, that uh, the um, the full full zip versus three quarter pant. So Parker, you mentioned that you ski in this top step pant, um, and it's a three quarter zip construction, right? And so like, why you know what's can you walk me through a bit of you know the kind of advantage of that maybe on race day and pre skiing? Yeah, so the three quarter zip is, in my opinion, better than a full zip because you're able to not have to struggle putting your pants back together once you take them off. So a lot of people will say like, oh, I need full zip pants to be able to take them off for race day. And you really don't. Three quarter zip comes up just high enough so that you can easily slide your pants off over your boots, no struggle. And then again, put them back on without an issue. And Jeff, I think telling the story about how you came to the three quarter zip pant would be super valuable for our followers. You're going to make me do that. Okay. Um, so, you know, back in my ski racing days, um, I found myself DFL second run at a, at a carnival at Burke. And um, I think it was blowing, you know, 40, 30, 40 miles an hour. It's like negative 20 out there. And um, I think I, even the course workers had gone into the lodge. Um, nobody was out there besides me and the starter. And uh I, you know, it, it was kind of the most miserable, you know, even your teammates are inside, you know, warming up. And so the most miserable experience, I mean, I know you Berkey's, you're strong folk, I guess. Um, I'm a little soft apparently, but uh, I find myself at the top of the course um, or at the bottom of the course I should stay and trying to put my pants on and, um, you know, I take my gloves off and immediately, you know, frostbit right away. And I was like, this is the dumbest thing in the world. Why am I even out here? And so um, I was trying to do the whole diaper out, right? You know, when you have full zip pants, it fully kind of explodes, right? And, um, you know, that, that just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So when we were designing our pants, it was, okay, what is the most kind of simple way? What, what way do you not have to take off your gloves, right? I think that's a big component of, 
um, ease and functionality. And so with a three quarter step, you know, step through construction, all you have to do is, you know, step one, one leg through one, the other leg through and then zip down, zip down. Right. So you're kind of off and running um, pretty quickly. And, but um, yeah, that day really kind of brought a lot of things to light about me and ski racing and, um, how soft I actually am. So, <laughs> well, Jeff, thank you for sharing the story. And if anyone's curious um, and wants to see it proven that three quarter pants are faster to put on than full zip, you can check out our YouTube page, like and subscribe. There's some great content on there just to keep you also entertained throughout the winter. Um, yeah, and then I think as we've talked about our free ski outfit the ski racer as a whole isn't just on the hill. And so I think it's important to now move into our fourth outfit, which is the behind the scenes and really the dry land training. As a ski racer, yes, I love to spend my time on snow, but a huge part of my day and really my off season is spent in the gym, on the field, really working out. And, um, and so the dry land collection and my outfit number four is super simple, but allows me to accomplish everything I want to do to make those gains to be able to perform in the upcoming season. So I start that out with a Deluge women's short sleeve shirt. It's fully polyester. It's really great sweat wicking and able to move with me. And again, pointed out with the green, we have it in that color. It's awesome. If you want to match with me all the time, green is the way. Um, and then I normally will put my shorts on and then put my benchmark joggers right on top. And the benchmark joggers have a matching benchmark hoodie. And I don't know if anybody knows me, but I like to wear a matching sweatsuit all the time. And so to have my benchmark outfit is ideal. And the benchmark hoodie is designed with a huge hood to be able to come over your head, feel that scuba, feel that warmth and that comfort, while also being able to have that mobility and movement in your training. And so as you get through warm up, you can start taking some of these layers off, but a lot of the time I find myself wearing it every day. And I think you can even ask Jeff, I think I wore it to work every day. Yeah, Parker definitely chooses the sweatsuit to go to work. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a, the dry link training collection is somewhat new to the sync lineup. Um, you know, it's really a counter seasonal offering. So, you know, we recognize that it stems from that, you know, inside of athletes working hard year round. And uh, really, we really wanted to kind of speak to, speak to them um, in the off season. You know, it's so important. I think anyone who's had, a great summer in the gym um, and, you know, has seen that translate into, uh, you know, time to kind of their racing in, in, in the winter um, knows that how, just how important that is. And, you know, when you make gains over the summer, it's like directly translates. So, um, you know, I think that now that same kind of brings a little bit of performance apparel to the uh, dryland, you know, dryland training lineup, um, we're, you know, we're super excited. It just speaks to the level of performance that the athlete has, the brand, speaks to um and um yeah it's fully there's a lot more pieces to it too you know we have um you know men's women's long sleeves and stuff like that so check that out all online um but it's definitely uh you know and you can certainly wear the dryland training not just you know working out it's you know around town or under your under your race suit maybe um you know or kind of all over the place really yeah i would say it's secret hidden advantage is traveling um i think in the van on the airplane uh getting to races stuff like that this kit is kind of ideal for that because you do have that poly it breathes with you you don't have to worry about sweat stains you really kind of have this perfect kit that moves with you when you're kind of on the go and that's it's, a huge part of it makes those 5 30 a.m van rides a lot a slightly more enjoyable right definitely um so i think guys as we are moving towards the end of our four outfits we really want to open the stage to all of your questions go more on a live route and answer whatever you're thinking whether or not it's picking my brain picking jeff's brain talking about any sort of equipment um the floor is yours uh, okay, first one from David Kent. Thank you. Some of the items are sold out on site. Uh, will there be a restock? Yeah, so I mean, we're, you know, it's beginning, kind of the beginning of the season, you know, we're gearing up and wrapping up. So we're kind of making inventory lives um, almost daily. So just keep checking back in. It's kind of, as you may know, supply chains are kind of constrained these days. Um, so we're doing our best we can to get inventory up and running. Um, but if there's anything in particular, definitely sign up for back and stock notifications. Um, that's a, a surefire way to get um, notified once it's back in stock or you can send us an email to info at syncperformance.com. Um, we'll take care of you, get a reserve so that, you know, there's no questions that you'll, um, you'll get it. So yeah, unfortunately the race suits, you know, we've been kind of flying through race suits already. Um, so we're actually ordering more 
um, to keep up with demand. So um, we'll probably, if you're talking about race it's a, we'll have another restock, um, I'd say early first week of October, sometime like that. So um, that's one thing that, uh, but you know, benchmark collection, that's all kind of coming in as we speak too. Um, so yeah, just keep keep an eye out. Um, definitely drop us a line if, you're, if you have any questions. Um, the other question in here is, I can blend it with two together, is I'm not a coach. I'm currently an athlete. And so part of my outfits did not include any sort of coaching um, picks. Jeff, do you know what might be the best ideal kit for a coach? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I mean, I think that, you know, as, you know, as a brand, we really, you know, focus on that athlete for sure. But we, you know, we, we believe coaches are athletes too. Um, you know, you're out on the hill a lot. And uh, one thing I would say, kind of that, that canvas pano jacket that we talked about that I would say is like your, your bread and butter coach's jacket. Um, and then, you know, we didn't show it, but the pro bib, if you search a pro bib on the website, um, maybe uh, someone can drop that in the comments. Um, our marketing director is on Facebook and he's dropping stuff in the comments as we talk about it, but the pro bib, it's got, you know, it's got, um, it's got ventilation, it's, got, it's a suspender pant, um, fully pocketed on the chest. It's got three quarter zip construction. Um, and it's got knee pads, removable knee pads. So honestly, if you like bibs and you like insulated bibs, um, that's a great free ski pant as well. You can just take the pads out or, um, and kind of free ski in that as well. So, um, definitely a warm pant, I would say though. So. Um, and what about the Alpine jacket? I think we should also talk about that one. Yeah. The Alpine jacket, that's kind of your daily driver as a coach. I think it's, um, outfitted, honestly, a lot of insights from ski club veil coaches. You know, we are just a stone's throw away from there and we, um, we go over there and, you know, hang out on the hill with them and get some feedback and insights and um they've been really helpful um designing and developing kind of being our local r&d team um and so like we've added a few things for coaches specifically on this year's alpine canvas jacket um one being sort of a radio um holster that you know no one would notice except the coach and i think it's going to be add a lot of benefit um so it's things like that it's got a drop it's got a pocket in the back um so you have a, you know start list beanie extra gloves I don't know, whatever you need for your athlete at the start, um, things like that. So, yeah, I think that that helps. I'm sorry. I can't provide that, um, in my daily kit wear. Um, we do have a hand raised from Tom. I'm not sure if we're actually allowed to hear you or if you have to type it in. Oh, well, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. All right. Awesome. Hey, I got my engineer down jacket on. Uh, nice. met you at Killington a couple of years ago. Got been using the neck warmer all pandemic long while I've been hiking. So thanks. You guys make great product. I just wanted to give you a shout out and really appreciate all the videos you guys do. Um, they're really, really cool. And then my question was, um, I did have to get in on the next Kickstarter. So um, with all the stuff going on in the world, uh, does that seem on track um, for delivery as you expected? Uh, Tom, right? Yeah, that's a uh, fantastic <laughs> question. Um, and something that I've been needing to hit up all the backers about. So we're definitely going to see delays, um, still sorting through that. Uh, but I, you know, it won't be, we're going to probably try and get your guys stuff, you know, hopefully by again, don't quote me, but it's going to, you know, hopefully by Thanksgiving. Um, you know, I think we originally said October, um, that's just not even close. Like it's just really hard right now. Um, shipping container drive premium, you know, even space is just, it's kind of a may mayhem. So, um, we're doing our best and we'll kind of, uh, I owe you guys an update on the Kickstarter, so we'll get that going. Um, but we're super stoked. I think that's something that we didn't really mention in the free ski kit um, is this new headwall collection. And I think that if you've been following along the sink and know our brand, you know we we do like I said in the beginning, we you know follow our ski racers um, you know throughout their career, and sometimes that means they graduate from ski racing, go to big mountain, or just want you know pursue pursue goals in the mountains. Um, you know whether you know not on the race hill right outside of the b-net and um so this collection really speaks to that it's like a full 360 degree stretch outerwear collection um bib shell pants um three layer shell um so we've been sort of to tom's question you know we don't want to kind of like throw it out there quite yet just because we're you know tentative on delivery but um you know we're doing the best we can we'll keep you guys posted um we're super psyched it's a lot of colors and fun so um yeah skiing should be fun right so let's make it let's make it fun again <laughs> Yeah, no, I think the headwall collection is going to be great. And as someone who is still ski racing, I also am going to be having my own headwall collection because you get to free ski, you get to enjoy the snow. And I think that's, again, part of what I said earlier that 
being able to ski and be a great skier is a huge part of how you find success. So thank you, Tom, for the question. Does anybody else have any questions as we are getting towards the end of our session? Um, I'm checking Facebook, so you can put it in there. Also checking on our Zoom chat. Um, yeah, I mean, someone asked about rain gear. I thank you to Al Michelle. So definitely, we spoke to that a little bit. Um, David, thanks for the question there. Um, I would say, you know, everything we do when it comes to outerwear has a focus on, um, you know, waterproofness and weatherproofness. So you're not going to, you know, maybe maybe you don't like, maybe it's not the element shell, but everything else throughout the park uh, engineered down, it all has DWR coating and or the fabric is just as fully waterproof. So I would say, you know, other than our fleece layers, um, you're getting some level of waterproofness and I'm happy to, happy to walk through that with you um, at any time, Mr. Shell. Awesome. Well, I'm not seeing any more questions come in, Jeff. Do we want to pick a winner of best question? Yeah, I think so. Do you want in mind? Yeah, let's see. Hold on, we're going to quickly converse. Yep. All right, so it was pretty unanimous. We knew exactly what we were going to pick. And so, Jeff. Tom, thanks for joining, man. I really appreciate the... Uh, the live question that was unreal. Um, you're the only one, um, and you're super stoked on the brand. We're psyched to get you the Kickstarter um, kit, and we'll actually be sending you a, another jacket of your choice. So um, you'll be fully synced out, um, and we're excited for the winter. And then the rest of you all for staying on the entire time. It looks like we had a decent group. We are going to be awarding you a discount code. So it's called, it's ski racing 20. Um, so that'd be 20% off the website for anything um, you need. And uh, that's a little reward for hanging in with us, um, you know, and listening to us, you know, blabble on, babble on about, you know, ski gear. We like to do it, but, um, you know, it can be a lot sometimes. So we appreciate you sticking in and uh, hanging out. Um, stoked to see you guys all this winter. Yeah, thank you guys, everybody. And if you liked hearing us talk, um, please check out our YouTube page. Like I said already, like and subscribe. We have a lot of new stuff coming in, a lot of interviews where you get to really hear from people from all over the ski industry, from top athletes to industry professionals. And we really just want to keep everyone in our community in the know and provide them with everything we can to keep you a well-rounded athlete and member of ski racing community and sync community. So um, thank you so much. And Tom, we look forward to getting your size and sending you a jacket. Everybody else, enjoy your 20%. Sweet. Thanks, guys.